Barnett take on Yeovil tomorrow in the National League. I'm joined here by head coach Dean Brennan. Dean, before we get into Yeovil, a great win on Saturday against Sully Holden the FA Trophy. Yeah, great to be in the hat today. Um, need a little bit of luck as well and with the draw. You always need a tiny bit of luck, but I think the main thing for us is hopefully we can get a home, home toy. So we'll see how, how that pans out. But performance wise, when I watched the game back, I thought we were outstanding, to be honest with you. We controlled the game in long periods, limited them to sort of only three or four attempts on a goal, and they're a good side. And we created several chances, uh, loads of good performances from the players, and uh, collectively a, a fantastic victory. Great to get another clean sheet. Been on a great run at the minute. How's the mood in the camp? Yeah, place is buzzing this morning. Um, this is what happens at football clubs when you're winning. Um, there's a good buzz around the place, but the biggest thing for me, my job is to make sure we keep our feet firmly on the ground. Uh, and we've got to continue to take it one game at a time, and, and tomorrow's another difficult challenge in a division that's relentless. And how have the preparations been for you for tomorrow? Yeah, we just did a video, uh, the debrief, obviously, first thing this morning from Saturday. And we've just done prep on your oval, our in play prep. And I've got a lot of good players, to be fair. Uh, Maguire Drew, a talented boy. The boy Linton's got pace up front. Uh, Fisher's experience. We know, we know Rico really well. He used to be with us. So they've got some good players, Wardington, um, and they're well organised by a very experienced manager. Yeovil yeah, have got a strong squad and probably not having the season that they'd want this year. What sort of challenge are you expecting from them? I think they've only lost a couple of games in the last 11, 12 games since the managers took over. So, look, it's, um, they've had change there. When you change a manager, it's always going to be a difficult season. But I think the, well, the one thing they are super organised um, and they have got a lot of ability. So, um, it's going to be tough. It's not going to be an easy game. Um, I've watched several of their games. They went to Notts County and drew 0-0. Not many teams go there and get a result. Uh, they, were, they were in a tight game against Woken. They lost 1-0 away at Woken. So... It's, like I say, it's not going to be easy. We're going to have to earn the right to win the game. and it's uh, No games are easy, actually, to be, to be totally honest with you. So I know everyone can look at the league table and think it's going to be a routine. It's not. We have to earn the right. We set our standards and we've got to keep to them. This weekend saw Dom Revan return to the starting eleven after a long period out injured. How good was it to get him back on the pitch? Yeah, Dom's a special player. Um, we've just got to manage his minutes. I have to give GA a show dirty. He's, GA is looking after him. Obviously, I know he was at the football club before, and um, he's put him on a program. That's what he does best. Um, he's done that as a personal favour to myself. Um, so I want to thank him for that. Um, but Dom is a good, good player. Um, but the biggest thing we have to do with Dom is manage him. We have to constantly manage him because of the injuries he's had. So um, yeah, he did really well. Um, did brilliant on several occasions. Did brilliant for the free kick we got for the goal. Um, we pressed the ball off a try out from the goalkeeper and he's gone into midfield and pressed it and, and pinched the ball. Mars got the free kick and obviously a great goal by Pritch. So, yeah, he's a player that we really, really like. And how's the rest of the team looking ahead of uh, Yeovil? Yeah, we've got Shields back available for selection. Um, you know, there's going to be some disappointed players tomorrow. We're going to have a few in the stand. Uh, Jamal Laws is coming along nicely. We'll probably look to get him out on loan for a month, really. And sort of look at that as he, as he, I've had a discussion with him this morning as his pre season because he hasn't played since last April, obviously with the long term injury he's had. So, yeah, we've got a selection uh, dilemmas, we've got things we can, we can change things around as well. So, we're going to have to use the squad at this moment in time because uh, what we Saturday, Tuesday for the next six weeks, so it's relentless. So, some players might get an opportunity to come in and hopefully they can perform to the levels that they've set themselves already. So, Dean, thank you for your time. Cheers, thanks for that.